Hello everybody and welcome. So today I want to talk about AJOV, which is a relatively new injectable medication for migraine headaches. And I uh, basically just want to talk about whether it's effective or not. Um, so these, uh, this is part of a, uh, a class of drug that works on CGRP. Um, CGRP is involved in the uh, cascade of events that leads to a migraine. And uh, this is a monoclonal antibody that binds to the receptor of CGRP and kind of stops its action. And they, um, all these medications appear to be pretty effective and I want to go over you know, how effective is it. And I also want to just look at briefly um, kind of how effective it is compared to the other ones. So Abdroid looks very similar. It's an injectable medication. Kind of the big difference with Abdroid is that it's not, it can be a monthly injection or it can be a quarterly injection, which is a, a really big benefit for people that don't want to inject themselves every month. Some people are deathly afraid of needles and uh, this is um, certainly, would be certainly helpful for them. The main kind of uh, clinical endpoint that was looked at with, um, with Abdroid was uh, migraine days. So migraine days are basically days where somebody experiences a migraine. And um, the baseline in migraine days in the Abdroid study was uh, nine. So um, in the um, monthly study, it was 8.9. In the quarterly study, it was 9.2. Over three months, they'll look at um, how much did the number of migraines change. So it changed, uh, it went down on average 3.7 in the monthly injection and 3.4 in the quarterly. Um, so that's very significant. Placebo is pretty effective at 2.2, but it was greater than placebo. And even if um, over you know half of the effect is placebo, it's still um, an important effect. Placebo is a big big effect in terms of medication, especially something like headaches or um, any kind of, well, re really anything, especially something that is um, something you're perceiving. You know, it looks like the, the um, quarterly group, the once every three months was not as effective, but it's not that different. So it's pretty close. And um, these, this medication uh, did not have any really um, significant um, side effects. The most, the most significant was injection site reactions um, anybody can become allergic to medication or even have like anaphy anaphylactic shock um, when given a new substance. Um, so that's always a risk with new drugs. It's always something that is out there. Uh, but Abdroy looks pretty, uh, pretty tolerated, pretty, pretty well tolerated. Um, compared to the other drugs, um, I also did a video on the other drugs, um, Emgality. Uh, one other thing they looked at, which is important, is uh, the number of people who had a 50% reduction. And it looks like um, in the monthly group, the, the AJOV 225 milligram once a month injection, uh, it was about 47% of people had a 50% reduction. And the quarterly group, it was about 45%. Um, now it's not the same study, um, you know, you know, I'm looking across studies, it, it would be more relevant if uh, if it was like a head-to-head -head type of study or something, but it looks like Mgality is more effective at 62% um, had over a 50% response, um, or 59% in the other study, uh, and they even had, um, some people have greater than 75%, which is actually pretty high at 40%. So, um, Emgality is still kind of the, the, my, um, kind of my favorite in this class. Um, but Abdroy looks good for people who, um, are like, N I'm not going to inject myself or, um, you know, they can do it every three months, which is, it's, is a benefit. Um, and, uh, I'll share this with you in the, um, in the comment section, uh, or in the um, description. I'll share this with you in the description. They have a pretty good uh, savings card, though it is expiring soon. It actually looks like the um, Emgality savings is a little better than the Abjoy. Abjoy expires December 
2019, this one expires, the Imgality one expires in um, 2020. Now, I don't know, maybe uh, Abjoy will come out with a, another coupon. Um, so these coupons for this product are pretty good. Um, obviously, it's a preventative medication and people might not want to get off of it. And then after they, after they um, get rid of the coupon, then people will kind of have to bear the brunt of the expense and that's always kind of an issue in, in pharmacy. Um, so I hope you all found this useful. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you've um, had any um, experience with these medications you want to share, um, that'd be great to hear from you. And um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.